today on Lark Rise to Candleford. Hello everyone, my name is Ginger Franklin and I play the violin. tips to play the violin better and these are not expert tips like I know what I'm talking about these are just things that I have done that have improved my playing tip number one is every time you practice make sure your violin is perfectly tuned and it's easy to not do this because you just want to get in there and practice but it will help you in the long run because this is just a theory but i think hearing the perfect pitches every single time will help you eventually possibly develop perfect pitch but even if that's not true um if one of your strings is off and the others are right on, it's really going to throw you off. So if you're playing and something sounds wrong, you may need to check your tuning and henceforth always make sure that it is perfectly in tune before practicing. Tip number two is always make sure your bow is rosined. And any time before you start practicing, rosin your bow. If sometime during your practice you start to sound a little scratchy or the sounds even starts to waver, um, you may need to re-rosin your bow because that's what gives it that fuller sound. Literally, if you get a bow for the first time and it has no rosin on it and you try to play, there will be no sound. So rosin is very important to producing sound on your violin. Tip number three is trim your fingernails. And I know this is kind of hard <laughs> to do if you like long fingernails, but all you have to do is clip these four, which is what I do. So, um, and the reason is tip number four, which is to play on the tips of your fingers. And you can't really do that if your fingernails are long. So I will demonstrate, um, how exactly your fingers need to be on this string. Um, this would be like flat down, um, and this would be like the tip of your finger. And calluses will develop on the tip of your finger so it will not hurt the more that you play like this. And also playing, the reason you play on the tips of your fingers, is to help you pinpoint the specific notes on the string. A violin does not have frets like a guitar, so we have to listen to be able to hear whether or not we're hitting the exact notes, and that's why perfect pitch is really important, and also it's easier to pinpoint notes if you're playing on the tips of your finger versus if you're playing on just the fat part of your finger right here on the bottom. Tip number five, and you've probably never heard this before, um, practice in an echoey room. And this might not actually be a very good tip, I don't know. I like to practice in a room where the sound really bounces off the walls. Uh, my ideal place is the restroom at our church. Um, the sound just really bounces off the floors and the walls. Of course, the outside of the building itself is metal. Um, but just anywhere that doesn't have carpet, because carpet absorbs the sound, so like a sound room has a lot of carpet. And of course, <laughs> the reason this may not be a good thing is because when I tried to play in a carpeted room after playing in such a beautiful sounding room, like a restroom, it doesn't sound good. So I may just be spoiling myself and this might not actually be a good idea, but if you can't hear yourself and you want to be able to hear yourself louder, this is something you could try. Um, I 
love practicing in an echoey room. That's the only place I really like to practice. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a little bit of an echo in this room. It's not as good as the restroom, but it'll do for practice time. practice in front of a mirror, um, which I do a lot. It distracts me from thinking about the violin because I'm looking at the way I'm holding the violin and what I'm doing and it just distracts my mind. So I feel like I play better practicing in front of a mirror. So if you're just thinking too hard about what you're doing with your fingers, like watching it, you might want to try practicing in front of a mirror and see if that helps distract your thoughts from all the minor details. If you are a beginner violinist or have only been playing for a few years, it will take time to get better. Um, when I first started, I was absolutely horrible. Um, it has been five years and I am somewhat better. Um, of course, once you start doing these things to help improve your sound, you will start to get a lot better. Um, of course, also, practice is very important. Um, 30 minutes every day is what people I know suggest. If you don't have perfect pitch and you're finding it difficult to pinpoint the notes, like you know it sounds off but you're not exactly sure where the correct, like where to correctly put your finger, there's a little thing that I do and I actually use a tuner um, and I will put it on the violin. Um, and I will watch the tuner to see where the correct, uh, uh, and I keep moving my finger until I hit the correct note. So I watch, I will demonstrate. <laughs> I usually tire of this method and then just give up and just go ahead and start playing as you know the regular speed instead of just being slow and watching my notes but it's good if you are trying to hit for instance a G and it just isn't sounding right you can put your tuner on and watch it until you hit that right note and then you can kind of remember where the position of your finger was I think it does matter how you position um, how you hold the violin. When I first learned, I was told that you need to be able to hold it hands-free between your chin and your shoulder, um, but I'm sure you've heard that if you've learned from anyone specifically or even online. Um, I have no idea if it matters where your hand is positioned, whether you hold your thumb. I had a theory, but it sort of fell through, so I don't... And those are my five plus tips for playing the violin. I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this video, um, leave a comment, like this video, um, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, and um, thank you for watching. We have to be very precise playing the right notes. That didn't make any sense. If you're a beginner violin, uh, a beginner violin? If you are a beginner violin. I've often heard experts. experts. I am not an expert. <clears throat> like I said at the beginning. I feel very awkward about this.